um, the topic that I wanted to go, that I wanted to talk about is forgiveness. And why do we need to talk about forgiveness? Well, one of the things that, and these, everything I talk about is, is from experience in my life and what I had to learn. And one of the things that I had to learn when I started to get serious about my growth and, and my relationship with God is he had revealed to me that I needed to let some things go oh, yeah. before I can actually move forward. Oh, yeah. Because you can't grow in the spirit and grow in your relationship with Christ, grow in your relationships with your friends, your husband, your kids, with your coworkers, all that, if you don't forgive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to be able to forgive and let go. Notice I didn't say forget, mm -hmm. but I did say let go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is so important. And if you know, the Bible says, we have to forgive one another. Mm -hmm. And the Lord has forgiven us over mm -hmm. how many times? How many times seven has the Lord times forgiven seven. us? Mm -hmm. Now, how many times have we said that our Father prayer? Mm -hmm. Have you mm -hmm. really thought about what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you really thought about it says to forgive mm -hmm. those that have trespassed against you? Ooh, so have you thought about when you're saying that prayer, did you really mm -hmm. forgive them? Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm -hmm. That's a question we need to ask ourselves mm -hmm. and we need to think about. Forgiving others means letting go of resentment and giving up any claim to be compensated for the hurt or loss that we have suffered. Mm -hmm. Why do we need to forgive? Forgiveness is at the very heart of the gospel. Colossians 3 and 13 states, bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. Mm -hmm. Jesus famously told Peter in Matthew 18 to forgive someone 70 times seven. Mm -hmm. And he makes the sobering statement that if we do not forgive others, our Father in heaven will not mm -hmm. forgive us. And that comes from mm -hmm. Matthew 6 and 15. Mm -hmm. As we release unforgiveness and all the bitterness and anger that comes with it, we are freed to <clears throat> live and serve with real peace and joy mm -hmm. and grow in spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. Now, let's do quickly how to forgive. Now mm -hmm. we're at the point of, okay, now how do I do that? Because forgiveness is not easy. Mm -hmm. no, it's not easy, especially when it's someone close to you mm -hmm. that literally yes, Lord. hurt you. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. In our own strength, forgiving others in the way we have received God's forgiveness is impossible. But with God, nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. And with his spirit inside us, we can go through a process that leads to true forgiveness. Number one. We need to acknowledge the pain. Yeah. Working through pain can only happen once you admit you've been hurt. That's true. And acknowledging this can intensify the feelings. Tears, mm -hmm. feelings of resentment, and ruminating thoughts are a good indicator that something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Number two, think through things. Mm -hmm. Try writing down what happened in a journal or on a piece of paper. Or share with a trusted friend. Admit that what happened makes you feel sad or mm -hmm. angry. And here's the biggest one. Be honest. Yep. Yes. That's right. About what emotions are rising up in you. Mm -hmm. Even if it epitomizes unforgiveness and you think you shouldn't feel that way. Remember God's forgiveness. Remember, reminding ourselves of the debt that God forgave us in Christ when we certainly didn't deserve it can help us forgive others. If we have been forgiven so much, how then can we hold on to grievances committed against us? Reflect on our biblical command. Jesus stressed the importance of forgiving others as many occasions and even included it in the Lord's Prayer, like we said earlier. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We're saying that, but do we really mean it? Pro six, let go of the hurt. Number five was reflect on your biblical command. Okay. Number six, let go of the hurt. The devil is an expert at getting a foothold. When he had made a choice to forgive, but the wound is still sensitive. Yeah. This is where your prayer is essential. Yeah. As in our own, we are tempted to wander back to unforgive. Yeah. Yeah. That thing will come back, rise up back. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we later. didn't forgive. <laughs> if we come back up and all of a sudden, it's just yeah, have that again. Just yeah. Yeah. Number seven. Once you've done that, guess what? Now you got to continue mm. to forgive. Yeah. Not just that one time, that one incident. Mm -hmm. Now you got to continue praying. Forgiveness is more than just saying a prayer and moving on. Mm -hmm. Because you can say, Lord, I forgive. Mm -hmm. And you're moving on, but you let go of nothing. <laughs> you let go of nothing. It's a serious decision that you make over and over again. 
the process will most likely be uncomfortable and painful, mm -hmm. but it will always be worth it in the end. Pray for the person who hurt you. Oh, ooh, uh, what? I don't know about all that. I don't know if I can pray for that person. Okay, because that person totally deceived me. In Matthew 5 and 44, Jesus commands us, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. I bet y'all forget about that verse, don't you? <laughs> That's horrible. Ask God to reveal his love to your offender in your heart and for him to dissolve negative emotions. With promises found in scripture like Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things mm -hmm. through him who gives me strength. We know that one, right? Mm -hmm. And Romans 12 and 21, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Mm -hmm. Start a journey of forgiveness yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Praying for the, to the Lord to equip you for this difficult but eternally rewarding task. Mm -hmm. We've got to forgive these people. And remember, it's the action, not the person. Yes. That they allow the devil to use them and they don't even know it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But we need to show it in our actions. We quick to talk about what somebody else is doing. Mm -hmm. Right? But we have to look at ourselves and in order for, and this is this is this is fact, because I've experienced it in my life. In order for you to be able to accomplish what God has for you in life, mm -hmm. and in order for you to be able to move forward in your uh, Christianity as a woman mm -hmm. and in the relationship with God, you have to let go and forgive. Mm -hmm. As hard as that you do. <laughs>
Mm. Beauty for ashes. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, Lord. There we go. Because I know. That held us down. Uh oh, look at that, look at that. The wind is God's spirit. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I remember when I did that and what I felt. Yes, I, I felt relief. I literally felt like that is the first time I have exhaled in so long. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.